This video will show traffic plan employees how to properly attach an arrow board trailer to a vehicle and the setup and breakdown of the arrow board in the field. When backing any vehicle, a spotter is required when two people are available. The spotter should be visible to the driver in one of the side view mirrors. When lifting an arrow board, make sure that you use your legs and not your back to lift and both employees will ensure that they place it on the pintle hook properly. When the vehicle is safely backed to the arrow board, both employees will get out to attach the arrow board to the vehicle. The pintle hook will then be locked in the closed position and also the safety pin will be reinstalled to ensure that the trailer will not become unhinged during transit. There are two chains available that will be attached to the vehicle by crossing them underneath the trailer and it may be required to tighten up the chains by twisting them to ensure that they will not be dragging on the ground during transit. After the chains are installed, the electric connection will be then installed onto the back of the vehicle or van. When removing the arrow board from the van, you will then remove the chains, you will open up the pintle hook, and you will then take the trailer jack, pull the pin, put it into the down position. Then you will crank the trailer jack in the up position to remove the arrow board from the vehicle. Then you will take the back legs Remove the pins and let the back leg slide down and it reattach the pins. Then you will then crank up the trailer jack so the trailer's wheels are off the ground. Once the wheels are off the ground, you will then take the front legs, remove the pins, put the legs down, reinstall the pins, and then you will crank the trailer jack to another low position so the wheels are not touching the ground. This will ensure that the arrow board trailer weight is on the legs and not on the wheels. After the, tr the arrow board is secured, crank up the arrow board and start the operation. The first thing that will happen is that the pin will be removed from the stabilizer bar and the arrow board will be cranked up. When cranking up the arrow board, make sure you stand to the side because if there is any rain, the water will fall on top of you. After the arrow board is cranked to the up position, reattach the pin to the stabilizing bar. Once that is complete, then you can go over to the box, turn on the switch for the solar panel, and ensure the proper direction of the arrows. When the job is complete and the arrow board is reattached, make sure all four legs are in a fully up position to prevent damage while transporting.